When COVID-19 broke out, the government's capacity to pay back Bank of Uganda for redeemed securities like treasury bills and bonds was impaired. The ramification was an accumulated 3 trillion shillings owed to the central bank by the government. It is the explanation the acting governor of the central bank, Michael Atingi Ego, offered members of the budget committee of parliament. The government therefore requested to delay the repayments for security redemptions in order to meet these more pressing needs that had got to do with the health and the life and the livelihoods of the, of the people of Uganda. MP summoned the central bank officials over the dissatisfaction with the explanation offered by the State Minister for Finance, Henry Musasizi, when he appeared before it last Friday. They questioned whether the bank is involved in irregular lending to government. The committee got stuck as to how a liability can arise between Bank of Uganda and government. Any borrowing in Uganda, eh, crowd has to be approved by parliament. Now you enter an agreement to lend to government on some term, okay, in a clever way, under this agreement, eroding the whole powers of parliament. Atingi Ego disputed the act of lending to government. So to say that Bank of Uganda lent government, I think the word lent should be put in inverted commas. But it's not that it's okay, we're giving government this money, but we're caught up in the situation. The committee was told of an existing mutual agreement to have the government clear the liability in two years beginning this financial year. But the government is yet to make good of this commitment for which it would pay equal amounts of 1.25 trillion shillings in the two financial years. Atingi Ego warned of dire ramifications provided the government fails to pay promptly. Any further delays from our point of view would jeopardize the effective conduct of monetary policy, risking the potential build-up of inflationary pressures in the economy. The worry is that even as the government struggles to make the payment of the 3 trillion shillings, other securities mature. The central bank committed to provide, in writing, the amount of matured securities from the 2022-23 financial year. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament.